This is Zuma Rock. The people of this community believe that when somebody dies, their spirits are led into this rock. And therefore, there are thousands of spirits residing inside this rock. When he died, they would put something for him to get up. Whoa. When he get up, he will come by his leg, enter the place. The moment he enters the place, nobody comes. Wow. That is not even the only interesting thing about Zuma Rock. Zuma Rock is the only rock known to have a visible human face right in front of the rock. Take a look at that face. Take a look at it. You can see the eyes. You can see the nose. You can see the mouth. That looks like a man sitting right in front of this rock. If you snap him, you go see, say like, I am mouth there for the place. Okay. Now, so God make that face of man. Okay. That is super interesting, but that is not all. The people of this community believe that during the rainy season, the top of this rock catches fire, and this huge fire burns through the rock over a week. And when you're crossing this place, you will see a massive fire on top of the rock. Wow. He said that there was a... Okay. He said that there were times that, that the, you will see fire on top of this thing. That he doesn't, of course, he doesn't know how the fire comes about. But that no matter how you rain, the fire will still be burning. You know, but if you're close like this, you will not see it. Except you're far into the villages, there, that's when you see the uh, fire on top. When I heard all these things, I decided that I want to go to Zuma Rock to see them for myself. So I contacted Big Wheels, also a travel creator living in Abuja. We went to Zuma Rock. Arriving in Zuma Rock, we were even told a crazier story. We were told that people were settling inside this rock. Many other rocks that I have been to, people were settling on top of the rock. But this one, people were settling inside the rock. And we were told that if we wish to go, they would take us to the place where people were settling inside the rock. And we would go and see for ourselves. So we decided to go. We went inside the rock and we found one person who is still settling and living inside this rock every single day of his life. The goal of this tour is to bring you to Zuma Rock and explain Zuma Rock to you, tell you all the interesting and mysterious stories about Zuma Rock. And without talking too much, let us go to Zuma Rock and explore. This is the Zuma Rock located in Ninja State, Nigeria. A lot of people usually say this is in Abuja, although we can say it's true, but this is located in Ninja State, Nigeria, and this is the Zuma Rock. Today, I am in Zuma Rock to tell you the story. A lot of stories about this place. A lot of interesting stories. One of them is the fact that there is a visible human face in front of this rock. Although currently, I'm standing at the back of this rock. Just take a look at how massive and how huge this rock is. But there is a lot of interesting stories about this place. And in front of this rock, I will show you in this video, there is a visible human face with the eyes, the nose, and even the mouth in front of this rock. And there is also a lot of other interesting stories with the villagers tells you that they hear sounds of the spirit that lives inside this rock. They also tell you that when somebody dies in this community, their spirit goes into this rock. Now, take a look at, tell me how many spirits you think is living right inside this rock. And to find out, me and Big Wheels, we entered the village. We found this old man. We asked him to explain to us how the spirit of a dead person gets into this rock when they die. And the man started to explain. They say that if, if somebody dies, yeah. the spirit goes inside the rock. Yeah. Have you heard the story? I heard the story that one. Okay. He died body. died body by himself. And he carried himself away. Wow. The spirit. Yes, now the spirit. When he died, they would put something for him mm. to get up. Whoa. When he get up, he would come by his leg and enter the place. The moment he enter the place, nobody can, can see him again. Wow. Oh. So if wow. the person died, they put something, the person will stand up he and will stand enter. Up and and follow them. And follow them. Yes. And, go to and the follow heat. them. They are doing their tradition. 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 They are doing their tradition. They are moving with their tradition. When they move there, when they go there, only one person. That is home God. Okay. That you can follow him. Go near the place. When he near the place, he comes to you stop. When he stop, uh, the person will enter there. No 
nobody can see her. Before we proceed, let me tell you a little bit about Zuma Rock. Zuma Rock standing at 2,379 feet is four times taller than the tallest building in Nigeria. And Zuma Rock was initially called Zumwa by the Zuba and the Kuru people. And this means a place of catching guinea fowl. According to history, there used to be a lot of guinea fowls right here in Zuma Rock. And the people of the community comes here to catch guinea fowl and that way they name this place Zumwa which is a place of catching guinea fowl. According to history, it is believed that this place was first discovered by the Zuba people in the 15th century and this place also serves as a defensive retreat for the Ibai people during the intertribal wars. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give the video a like and if you want to watch more travel stories like this one, Click the red subscribe button located in front of your screen and turn on the bell notification that comes up next so that you'll be the first person to know when I post my next video. Now let us talk about the fire. According to the story, there was a time during heavy rain season, fire broke out on top of this rock and no matter how much it rained, this fire continued to burn for more than a week. For some people, they will believe that this is mysterious but somehow, science also have a way to prove that this is natural but before that, let us talk to the people who saw this fire when it was burning. There used to be fire during rainy season on top of this rock. Have you witnessed anything like that? Wow. He said that there was a... Okay. He said that there were times that, that the, you will see fire on top of this thing. That he doesn't, of course, he doesn't know how the fire comes about, but that no matter how you rain, the fire will still be burning. You know, but if you're close like this, you'll not see it. Except you're far into the villages, there, that's when you see the uh, fire on top. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. So the fire always goes off by itself. Nobody, no rain can actually stop the fire. It goes off by itself. Wow. You see, there was a time that the, there was fire on top of this whole thing. What are they calling? He said there was a time they saw fire, it was burning. They had, they had, what thing? They had quite an energy. Ah, ah, yeah, I don't know if you look at it, you can't see it. You see, the, 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 wow. He said the fire burned for about a week. It was burning continuously, it was just going around the rock on top. They were just seeing it from the fire here. What is the scientific explanation to this fire? According to a geologist and a lecturer in Nasrawa State University, he believed that the fire was caused by the rainfall. Some broken pieces of the rock got saturated with water. That's a contact between heat and the main rock body. In the event that it had to slide because water now serves as a lubricating surface, friction is created. According to the geologist, that is what could have happened. Rainwater got to the surface, lubricated the border, and then generated a sliding, probably based on a sloppy surface, and in the event of sliding down, the fire came up. That is the scientific explanation to why there is fire on a Zuma rock. But for the people who like to believe in mysterious things, a lot of people attributed it to voodoo, while some others believe it was caused by the spirit living inside the rock. Another interesting thing that we were told that got me surprised about this place is that people settled inside this rock. I was surprised because many other rocks I have been to, people settled on top of the rock, but this one they see it inside, so we decided to go and see. Getting there, we found out that there are other rocks at the back of Zuma Rock, and those rocks have something that looks like hideouts, and people settled inside those places. Now, I understand why it said that this place served as a defensive retreat, for the people of Bain during the intertribal war. I believe that those people were living inside these hideouts during the intertribal war. Although the people that took us here cannot explain if it's really because of war that brought the people inside here or whatever. But I believe that those people who were living inside here were people who were hiding out during the intertribal war. Some of them were living inside this place. And I'm not talking about on top of the rock. I'm actually talking about inside, inside the rocks. And I have sh and I will show you where how it looks like when you get to the place where they were living. 
While exploring these places where people lived many centuries ago, we found this guy who looks like he is mentally unstable and we were told that this guy lives inside this place all his life, every day of his life, every time you come there, you will always see him right there. When I asked them, can we talk to him, they said he's not going to talk to you because he is mentally unstable. One of the most interesting stories about Zuma Rock is that the hotel that was supposed to be built next to the rock which will give the people a view of the Zuma Rock and this hotel was supposed to be a 5 star hotel. Stories have it that this hotel was abandoned because the spirit that lives inside this rock would not allow the workers to work on this hotel. So we decided to ask the people from the village what they really think is the reason why this hotel was abandoned and here is the story. That, that hotel, uh, no spirit. No, no spirit. But that hotel, Secret code. Even now, clearly, nothing. No people, no people. You can't see it. You can't see anybody. Okay, you will notice that there are people in the hotel, but you can't see them. You can't see them. Because people are people. Those people, they are lying from there. Because they are in place. Okay, but what you're saying is that, that means you go there. You won't see the people physically. Yeah. They are there. You but see their presence is there. Presence. But you know, go see the people. You know, go see anybody. So that is the memory of the Because that hotel has been abandoned for plenty years now. The wind didn't allow you to hear clearly what he was saying, but everything he was saying is that it's not spirit like people say, but secret courts have taken over the place. That when you come there at night, you will notice that there are luxury cars everywhere, but you can't find the owners of the cars. Even currently, if you go there this afternoon, you will not see anybody, but you will notice that there are people in there. So this is the reason why the workers refused to work and this place was abandoned. Let's go and check out Big Wheels. Like he's doing the same job that I'm doing, traveling and showing you interesting places and things, telling you more about the things we have in Nigeria. So go and check him out now. Subscribe to his channel and watch his videos. Both the old ones and the ones he have not uploaded yet. I'm sure you will like all of them. If you did enjoy this video, you watch now. You will definitely like all his videos. So please go right now. The link to his channel is in the description and it will be in the comment as well. So. It's easy for you or you can just search Big Wheels and subscribe to his channel. This is it. This is all you get to know. The things you have heard and you didn't know really well how it happened. I hope I have been able to tell you and show you the wonderful Zuma Rock. The Zuma Rock in uh, Nigeria. This place is Niger State. But a lot of people confuse this place to be Abuja. This place is located in Niger State. And this is the Zuma Rock. This is the story. The incredible stories, the mysterious stories, and the realities of Zuma Rock. You have been able to see it in this video. Tell me, tell me in the comment section what you think about this video, and let me know what you think is inside this place. I believe that this place is standing off. I believe that this place is standing on a very large underground water. Tell me what you think, if you think the same thing as me, and I will know what you think in the comment section. Tell me in the comment section as well if you did enjoy this video, and if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. And if you want to watch more travel stories like this one, imagine the interesting story of the Zuma Rock. You want to watch anything that is closer to this, you want to watch more videos like this one, please click the red subscribe button located around here in your screen now click that red subscribe button and turn on the bell notification that comes up next so that you'll be the first person to know when i post my next video